In this session, I am going to explain Bellman principle of optimality for reinforcement learning problems. In reinforcement learning problem, our objective is to maximize expectation of present value of total rewards. And how do we do that? We do that by taking a sequence of actions that is optimal and this sequence of optimal actions is called optimal policy. Now, the problem with reinforcement learning problems is that we don't take all these actions at once. Rather, we take these actions one after another in a sequence. And that makes the problem of finding sequence of optimal actions computationally difficult. So then how do we find this sequence of optimal actions or our optimal policy? And that's where the Bellman principle of optimality becomes handy. What the principle states that an optimal policy has the property that whatever the initial state and initial decisions are, the remaining decisions must constitute an optimal policy with regard to the state resulting from first decision. Now, what Bellman principle of optimality does is that it breaks down the multi-step optimization problem into a single step optimization problem and what it says is that if at any given point of time if we are at a particular state say we are in state s2 then our optimal policy at this state s2 does not depend on the earlier actions that we have taken and the earlier states in which we have been. All that matters for our optimal policy in this state S2 is that all our future actions should be optimal. So in other words, what Bellman principle of optimality says that given our present state, we do not care about our past actions and past states when we want to find optimal policy, all that we care about is that all our future actions should be optimal. Now, the problem with that is that for a given state, we know all our past actions and past states, but we have no idea about our future actions and future states. So then how do we find our optimal policy using Bellman principle of optimality? So what we do in Bellman principle of optimality is that rather than starting in the initial state and then moving forward one step at a time, we start in the terminal or the last state and we move one step at a time in backward direction. And we use a slightly modified version of Bellman equation to obtain our optimal state values. And here I use the Bellman equation where states are subscripted with time step. So let's say S t minus 1 is my current state. I take action A in that state S t minus 1 and S t is the resulting state. So my state value in state S t minus 1 will be equals to sum of immediate reward received in state S t minus 1 by taking action A plus the state value of resulting state st and this factor gamma converts that into present value and if our actions are according to optimal policy then the state values become the optimal state values corresponding to that optimal policy and our equation is slightly modified because in that case i will have to take the action a that will maximize the sum of immediate reward and the state value of the resulting state. So the Bellman equation for optimal policy becomes V star of S T minus one equals to maximize with respect to variable A. What do we maximize? The sum of immediate reward plus the present value of optimal state value for the resulting state. So now using the Bellman principle of optimality, what we do we start in the terminal state, say S t, and because this is terminal state, 
we do not take any actions in this state and our game ends so the state value for this state is zero and therefore the optimal state value for that state is also zero so we know the value of v star s t now using the bellman equation for optimal state value we can find the optimal state value for state t minus 1 by taking the action a for which the sum of immediate reward in state s t minus 1 and present value of optimal state value of the resulting state and that gives us the optimal state value at state t minus 1 so here note that we knew the optimal state value for state s t and to find optimal state value at state s t minus 1 we only had to maximize this quantity with respect to action a in state s t minus 1 we are not worrying about the actions that we will take in future and actions we have taken in past so the problem where we had to optimize with respect to all the actions we are finding optimal state values just by maximizing with respect to one action at a time so this is the main advantage of using bellman principle of optimality then we move one step back and we obtain the optimal state value for state at time t minus 2 and so on so this way using the bellman principle of optimality we find optimal state values at all the steps by moving in backward direction and using a recursive relation and that's why this is called solving the optimality problem using backward induction so bellman principle of optimality solves the multi-step optimization problem using backward induction